Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Happy Independence Day once again to you. Happy New Month. Now is the time to the global stories that made it to the front pages of our national dailies. And joining us to review these papers this morning is Chris Kende Wonder. He's a chartered arbitrator joining us here in Lagos. Good morning, Mr. Chris. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Mm. As always, Happy Independence yeah. Day happy to Independence you. Happy Independence Anniversary. Mm. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so most of the papers have the same headline talking about the Independence Day, talking about Nigeria at 64, talking about the economic hardship and where we are today. So on the front, it leads with Nigeria at 64. We must reform or collapse, and that is according to the president, um, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And the writer here says, CSOs vow to go on with protests. Um, the next one, The Guardian says, Nigeria at 64, economic hardship, political rifts, overshadow celebrations. Um, on the Daily Trust, it leads with hardship and committed to sustainable solutions. And that's according to the President Tinubu. The writer here says, um, says country winning war against insecurity on veiled plans for 30-day youth confab. So, um, of course, um, everything right now talks about where we are today as a nation. However, there are people who are taken to the streets to protest. And so on the vanguard, it says, protests, police talk tough, organizers allege intimidation. But I want to get your take. We are 64 today uh, as an independent country. And um, if we think of a 64-year-old man, he's a grown man. He should be wise. He exudes greatness and all of that. How do you think... Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm happy he's 64 how do you years. Think, how do you think we've done as a nation? Do you think we're, we can be likened to that wise man or we're just a crawling toddler at the moment? Of the economy. We 
which the floating of the Naira has also brought us. So, on the bigger picture, I was expecting something much, much, much uh, that I could give hope, that I couldn't see any hope uh, in, in, in that speech. But let's wait and see. We've been asking for more time. We have many two years to complete this trust. Uh, and um, so let's wait and see what happens. But we take it further. Uh, we also talk about the project as we should go today by some individuals. It's the fundamental uh, right of every Nigeria uh, to protest that is granted by the Constitution. So if there's people that feel like they the only way they can, and they really believe really, 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 they there, and that uh, is by protesting, they are allowed to do that. Once it does not go beyond the ambit of protest, uh, it doesn't get on the environment. That is their right. Okay, well, um, the ex-presidents uh, have come together and some other um, uh, critical stakeholders, Jonathan, Atiku, governors, NLC, others, urge unity to tackle the nation's challenges. You've at least accepted the fact that uh, uh, if we have not achieved anything else, we've achieved unity. But uh, these people are still calling for more unity. Uh, I get confused because on the one hand, as we're calling for unity, does this unity... Uh, pretend that we may not have federating units as we are supposed to have where every federating unit uh, develops on its own pace or we're talking about the unity that will stay together and dictate everything from the center because we need to spell out what kind of unity that we have. Yes, people have been talking about um, uh, regional government as it was in those days and all that. It may not work at this moment. Uh, but they're doing things that show that regional government is the way to go and all that. So we're talking unity, we're talking diversity, we're talking uh, real or true federalism and all that. So I want you to reconcile all these ones. The unity they're calling for, what kind of unity do you think works for Nigeria? For me, it's my, my definition of unity is that based on unity um, and uh, uh, a, 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 a ground that is open to every Nigerian to be able to achieve his full or her full potential. But you know that that is when you talk about the issue of um, regional government, whatever that, that has to do with constitutional um, amendments. Um, and it's only one, uh, one arm of government has that power. That is the National Assembly, um, the State Assemblies, because whatever National Assembly, also, I agree on the actual state, state of operate. You can see the problem we are having now, the issue of state police that have been proposed, and so many states of reputation still are driving them uh, to it. Constitutional amendment is not an uh, So, uh, but whatever it is that we look at, uh, the only way we can be able to uh, get uh, good fiscal federalism, as you said, uh, is in regional. Um, some people have also believed that we should go back to the parliamentary system of government that we had in the 60s, and um, that should be a solution to the problem. But that is the function of uh, uh, the National Assembly. The question you ask is, uh, this call of National Assembly members say that has a Do they look like people that are able to take the group by their hand? The National Assembly that they become the error of some to the executive. There is a senior president that told you that whatever the president did, no matter what that they're going to happen. So, it is only when there is a, uh, the political will you know, on the part of the political class to be able to take it to the next level. But for them, no, these are, these are issues that the, the current, um, government, the current um, party, and I would say government, ABC can pass to 2015. Those are the policies that they need to Nigeria. So, oh, that we're going to have a strong amendment uh, that uh, the issue of other. Uh, federalism will be looked into and they're going to take the vote by the one but not only the data go by 2015 the all that we're able to pass government or PDP for all the roles in Nigeria and it has led the current government is now practically also blaming um, the, the last government who were having to the largest thing for all the problems so it has become a government of blame that is what we inherited in the past few close to nine years now Instead of just focusing on the problem and solving it, what we see every day is that oh, we hate so much problem, which is just part of what presents in the speech. Nobody does that. When Obama took over as the president of the United States of America, my America was on the, um, on the economic threshold. You can't 
can never see any American president take over and see him blaming the past um, uh, president, whether Democrats or Republicans. What they do is put their hands on the plow. I have a president talk about putting his hand on the plow. When you put your hand on the plow, you don't move back. You move forward. In my own uh, local language, um, uh, in Hebrew, they say when they charge, when they charge us, he looks back. When an adult starts, he just hands up and he one. He doesn't move back. So we are looking at the government that are going to move forward and making sure that most of his strategies that way that they face the people because. I have sat since I have just started to say this program time and time again. If you hear it a country, you hear it with that bit and then uh, what do you call it now? So yes, you know what you hear it with the access and the ability. You don't tell me that you hear it as a very country that it's what the door. That is the total package on this one. So they should be telling us how they are going to move this subject forward. And most especially take Nigeria's out of poverty because on a daily basis money you need to get about 140 million I guess, I don't know what the figure is now yes, Nigerians are in total abject poverty and once Nigerians can be able to pay themselves whenever that thing to them doesn't really matter we are talking about access to education also so many children are going out of school because parents cannot pay school fees so many people are trying to work because they cannot be able to afford uh, transportation the way many people cannot feed we are not going to have a place in the world. I can't remember when last I personally even got the news. That is the one on my own side. But you are talking of housing. The cost of housing is that so many people cannot be able to pay their rent, their, 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 their house rents, and we are having issues. So those are the basic, basic necessities that are not. It's a difficult to get one which has a good one. I guess you say, oh, give us lights, give us room, give, give us hair, give us. People are not just passing for just in here to buy back. Let them just go see something to eat. They can be taking up for that. So those are the basis for me. So when you're talking about uh, what we are looking at is unity and diversity. But that unity and diversity has to be based on certain principles. And that is how to be on equity. So in the president's speech, um, you know, he highlighted his gains, his prospects, where we are now, what he has done. But something he also said um, on the Daily Trust here, he says, I'm committed to sustainable solutions. So far, do you, if you look at what has happened in the past one year since the president assumed office, do you think we can really say that there are sustainable solutions and we might just be coming out of this crisis that we're in as a country right now? decision and it's not working. You don't need to just uh, so, uh, uh, step back. That doesn't make you weak. There are so many decisions that have been taken by this government, especially uh, around the economy. That is not working. No matter how they try it, it's not working. I just say this is where they cannot be able to step back and be able to do, uh, get it right. Let's start with the floating of the mayor. When the floating is mayor, you believe us that oh, it is going to cover our answer in the space. At the point we are that's all now the Naira is about one thousand six hundred Naira to a dollar. Never in the history of Nigeria, sixty four years of Nigeria have been against that. At the point they were throwing so much dollars uh, into the system that it came down to ninety nine hundred or at the point to nine hundred some and we told that oh everybody was thinking we didn't mean to remember what it was. That is one. Two, this government said that it has removed subsidy on the twenty ninth of May twenty twenty two when President took over, it says subsidy is gone. Now, that became the other cause of this government because since that announcement, everything has well gone off the roof. As it were, food, transportation, needs, it has gone off the roof. And now, the same story that you said, you know, you are now going to the back, background or backyard to be able to bring back subsidy. When you look at how much is being paid on a daily basis for subsidy, with the government in itself has also agreed to the MNPC. That is it also. So what I'm saying is, so you are doing like try and error, what we call in my place in those days, you know, what we call the German, you know, like someone will call the one in my place. Uh, you know those, um, those uh, emergency centers that used to carry that uh, small machine on the on the uh, by their shoulder, going around the streets. They are not telling us what they do is just what we call up and so. What we are doing now is more like an emergency uh, economy up and so. We are the government that needs to have a direction of what to do. But I think that they get it right. Maybe the president has the right to, if you say that there's going to be a reform, go 
God did by the end of December because of October, this is first of October. God did by the end of today, we made a decision and come up with ministers that share his vision and who can be able to help him to try this vision that he has. Because what we have now are ministers who are just playing in second week. We know that CPM, we have the EPM, we have the, uh, the, um, the, the premiership, we also have other uh, ambitions. Most over 90% of current ministers are just playing in second division, except for about four, five, or six. Who are that who can be able to point out tax activity? So, whatever division it doesn't have, if it doesn't have the canon that can be able to because it doesn't have the canon that the whole thing still will be on the same. So, until you get the right people that are able to do the job, you think. Then, so I am taking a move forward that his, this government is going to be sure that it's going to be a lot of just technical, just like the president. And the police of the person that did in 1999 when he got the young political that constantly individuals uh, from all over the world, Nigeria, and so they're able to help him to drive people like you say, okay, they were the also um up here is a person a chance to move you, and uh Nasir M5 in different sectors, and you see that what happened. Now Nigeria is going to the United Nations and talking about their forgiveness. How can you be forgiven when they forgive your death, even when you want you? You cannot pay. And even that you are siphoning in terms of uh, people uh, in government, siphoning such money. So who will listen to you? So my own belief is that since it's, uh, the president has moved he also said it himself that his office was six months already. So since it, before they said one year was too short, he is in the office for 16 months mm -hmm. now. That is one year, four months. Mm -hmm. So this is right time for him to make sure that whoever he is going to, they are going to work with him and the same time that he the same vision with him and be able to drive the economic and the political, uh, the politics of Nigeria. Anything short of that is not possible to Nigeria. Nigerians will not take exclusive because at the end of it all, now we are talking about why nobody is talking, nobody is talking about his vice. I can't even, nobody is talking about his vice. Everything that does now is Kowari's government. It is going to be about Bola Abedjubu's government and not of his ministers or even his vice president. Mm. Well, I agree with you and I think it's, um, it's, it's high time that we all do it together. So not even just the president, like you've said, um, the ministers, the vice president, everybody, and all Nigerians need to come together to ensure that we have a better nation for ourselves. This is where we have to wrap it up on this segment. Thank you so much, Chris, for coming. As always, it's a pleasure discussing the papers with you. Thank you very much. Have a nice independence. You too. Were you independent, as it were. Yes. <laughs> you too. Happy Independence Day to you once again. All right, that was Chris Kende Wonder. He's a chartered arbitrator joining us here in Lagos State, and we're just reviewing the papers. We'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be discussing the state of the nation, especially with Nigeria at 64. Please stay with us. <laughs>